Okay, I'm going to do one more Pisces because the reason why is because I was doing this uh, love readings, but then it seemed like it was someone who had children, and then they were like, well, not everyone. Let's try to do, let's do another one for people who don't have children. Okay, so, um, so what is this? Singles, Pisces. Singles, Pisces. <laughs> okay, so someone's saying uh, love is not all what it's cracked up to be or something like that. Okay, the dating field. Okay, so, but you're still holding on to hope that, um, oh, okay, so some of you have someone who's crossed over, a past, past life person that you came together with in this physical reality and, um, you want union with them again in another time. Okay, so. Okay, so what I'm getting here is like um, a phrase my dad said when my mom passed over. Uh, Once you get it right, you don't want to get it wrong. It's something like that. Okay, so uh, maybe some of you are content being alone. Okay. And the other thing that's coming up is sex is overrated. Okay, so so if that doesn't resonate to you, this one isn't your reading. Okay. All right. Okay, so. Okay, so you're a... Um, your profession is you do something that helps other people. Okay. And that could be anything. Okay, so seven of gems. So it's like you gave, it's kind of like the other reading, but it's like you give a lot to that. And so th you really didn't have time to give to a, I'm getting Libra sign. So it's like balancing all that. Uh, that's like you have a lot of contentment with your work. That's what I want to say. And so you're doing just fine. But then sometimes you wish you had somebody with you. Okay. For some of you, this is an air sign. And maybe the frustration is that they don't show you the warmth. Okay. But are you opening up? That's the question, right? Okay. Now you are, you believe in the magic. And they might not be so spiritual or believe in magic. They just are like maybe someone who doesn't even believe in any kind, any religion or anything. Okay. Maybe they believe in nature. Okay. So you know there's this whole other realm. And they are in touch with it too, but on the surface it may not look like it. Back here is like an emerald, so... Okay. Yeah, so their challenge is to open up to you. Okay. And they're very private, so that might even be water and air combo. In the past, when it came to love... I feel like even when you had your partnership, you might have been a little bit disappointed. Okay. But who hasn't been, right? Okay, so let's see what's going on with that. Woo! The support is here. Okay. Okay, so there is a chance. So um, I don't believe in uh, patience, but... I feel like your positive nature is going to have an impact on this person and bring in success. Okay. Because I feel like you both honor each other, respect each other. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, okay, so this is the charmer, but it's it's a water energy, so they might be younger than you. Okay. Okay, so they've been getting the nudges from spirit, but um, they're slow. This is Ace of Roses, Roses, so that's Earth, so they're slow. That's the energy they're harnessing. So... I feel like you want to take it slow, too. I feel like if you went too fast, you would be uncomfortable in that. Okay. <laughs> and I feel like this represents you, the mover. Move it. Move it. Move it. Okay. All right. And here's the love. See? It, it's a slow build. That's what I'm getting. It's a slow build. Okay. And be okay with that. Yeah, and that may cause you to reevaluate and question it and be like, are you even a match? And the key is open communication and take a look at your habits that you had when you were in a partnership, right? And then move in joy. Joy, joy, joy. I leave you with that.